Firstly, they didn't, it's still here, but in this video we're going to be discussing some of the comments I had on the Cozy 6 video, including, is this going to get stolen from being out here? Now, a lot of the comments spoke around the appearance of the Cozy 6 and how everyone thought it was a bit ugly. Now, I think that this is a better looking heat pump than the normal traditional heat pumps that you see, the industrial looking units. I don't think it looks industrial. I think it blends in with its surroundings. It kind of matches in with the aesthetics of the place. Could they could do with some more choices of colour than the, just this grey? Yes, possibly. Could it be, you know, made a little more stealthy? Yes, it could. Can this octopus sticker be removed off the front? Yes, it can. It just peels away. But I actually quite like it. So does my wife. So we're actually probably going to stick some googly eyes on the front of this, make it look a li little bit more cool. But it, do I think it's a good looking unit? No, of course I don't. I'm not stupid. No heat pump's attractive. But do I think it looks better than traditional commercial units? And would I have this over that? Yes. At the end of the day, we're going to be start seeing these type of pumps, heat pumps, the traditional ones and cozy sixes all over the place. And if you have the choice between the two, which one are you going to pick? Well, I'm going to pick this one because I think it's better looking, but I get it's Marmite. Let me know in the comments, do you think this is better than a traditional heat pump. There's some people who were blatantly being a bit stupid in the comments thinking that this is planted on the other side of my boundary wall and that I don't own this land and I've just planked it on the council land. Well you can blatantly see there's my car, there's the end of my driveway and that runs straight down here to where the basically the, the little bit of extra part of my house sticks out so it's in line with all my property boundaries and just in case you don't believe me i've attached my red line plan of my home on here which we'll get to why i've got a copy of that all so soon now this is more than one meter away from the property boundary there was other locations i did want it at but it would have been within one meter of the property boundary and would have therefore required flying permission this is a bit of a long pipe run which we'll get to in a minute now in my solar video i mentioned that i was struggling getting solar panels fitted because I have a leasehold house so you're going to ask how do they get this here with the leasehold well for the same reason for the solar panels i bought out my leasehold now this is not a cheap option the buying out the leasehold of my house cost me fourteen thousand pound but to get the solar panels on I, I basically either had to pay a permission fee or pay 14 grand to buy the lease out i did a non-court route because it was quicker and would have cost about the same after legal costs and yes this isn't for everyone but it also meant that i could put the condition check the conditions to make sure i could have the heat pump situated in this location which i can the other reason i bought out the leasehold is it improves the value of my house and also makes it more sellable everyone who's tried to sell a house on this estate with the leasehold not owned by them has struggled to sell it so not only have i managed to put solar panels on and a heat pump on yes they the leasehold did cost me 14 grand to buy out but in theory that's added on to the price of my selling of my house. So have I made my house less sellable? Well, I don't think I have. I've got solar panels and battery and now the heat pump. I can effectively run the house purely off the battery and the solar with some import from the grid during the cheap octopus cheap rate that I have at 7p. This is more than 300% efficient, which means that I'm now no longer paying a standing charge. Now let's just talk a couple of people have mentioned that my neighbours might not like this. Well, I've spoken to a couple of neighbours, and we'll get to that in a minute. But let's just talk about one of the neighbours whose boiler's on its way out. Now, he's been quoted £2,500 to replace the boiler in the same build house as mine. And this was £1,350 off of this after the government grant. There's a £7,500 voucher off the government during the bus grant. That could go away at any point, which means that heat pumps could be £7,500 more expensive than they will be in the future. So by having it now, I reckon, in my opinion, that I've added that value to the house, having it fitted under the government grant system. Now there is an extra code down below to get an extra 100 pound off Octopus Energy, if you're getting it installed using my code. And I reckon all that, the total price of 1,350, this was a real bargain to have. So a couple of comments asked what my neighbors would think staring at this ugly, cozy six heat pump all day. So I thought I'll ask them, um, you know, they are my neighbours and I'm overlooked by quite a lot of them. In fact, right from here where I'm looking, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, no, seventeen, eighteen houses at a push can all see this cozy six heat pump. So I went round and naturally asked the ones that are closest to it could actually see it out the window if they bothered to look. And the answers were pretty much couldn't care less half the time your car blocks it 
and half the time I only see it when I'm walking past. In fact, one of them even sent me a Facebook message that said I could display that message on the screen now, as you can see. And most people actually quite like the look of it. In fact, the neighbour whose boiler's on the way out said, Nick, how do I get one and what's the code so I can get it? And they can definitely see, because they're just over there, they can definitely see this Cozy 6 from outside their window and they're quite happy to get one for their own garden. So again, looks are subjective, but if you're staring at this thinking it's ugly, then stop staring at it because it's just a piece of street furniture that sits here next to my car. So can it cool? Well, effectively all heat pumps can do cooling. In fact, when it's heating the house, you'll see cold air mist coming out of this. It is lovely and cold. On a hot summer's day, you put your hot water tank on, sit and move your deck chairs outside this, and it blows absolutely stone cold air out of it. And essentially, a heat pump can run both ways. It can run cooling and heating. It just basically switches for whichever one it's doing. Now, Oxmas haven't allowed this to do cooling. It's not in the settings. Could it do it physically? Yes. Um, could you allow it somehow by hacking it? Probably yes. Um, but there is basically a grey area whether cooling is allowed under the bus grant. Some people say it's not in there, and it, or, or some people say it used to be in there, but it isn't anymore. And there's basically a bit of cross wires there. So if you do know specifically if cooling is allowed under the bus grant, that's the government grant for boiler replacement, then let me know down in the comments. If you think you just heard some rumors on Facebook, then please don't comment with that. If you've got some hard evidence of proof of saying it does now allow cooling for, and heating on the bus grant, please, please let me know down below in the comments. But Essentially, Octopus have disallowed it because they seem to deem that it's not allowed under the bus grant. But also, radiators aren't particularly good at doing cooling. They're very good at heating, but they're not very good at dispersing cool air. In fact, Heat Geeks, they did some videos showing about radiators doing cooling, and they basically managed to sort of wing it a little bit with a, with a fan blowing air through it continuously to making the cooling effect. But essentially, radiators don't that doing cooling very well. They're very good at heating things, but not making things cold. Next, the comp, the S-COP. What is the S-COP and COP of this? Because the lab results, as we, you know, many people have mentioned, weren't great. But as TJ mentioned, real life results of the COP, uh, of the COP and the S-COP of the Cozy Six that they've seen in the wild are better than you know what they expected, and also in line with other units they fitted, like the Dakin units. So, what is the S-COP of this unit? Well, to find out. Click the subscribe button, click that notification bell, and as soon as I've got the results, I'll display and members and patrons will get early access to all that data and already have seen some early indications of the COP. But I can't really give the S COP yet because it's not really been running during the winter. And I can't really give the COP so far because COP doesn't give a fair indication and We've had to do something different to the tank since the Cozy 6 has been fitted. We've had a couple of bit of plays around with Octopus Engineers because we wanted to test something first and then we had to make some modifications which will be coming on a video very, very soon, especially to my Patreon members. I will announce that as this video goes out so you know what's happened to change the way this system works. Finally, let's move on to the comments about it getting stolen or vandalised. Now, of course, that these comments for me won't apply to every single person. For example, vandalism. If you live in an area that suffers with vandalism, then you might not choose to put it here. We'll move on to issues of it getting stolen. And we'll also talk about how my neighbours aren't savages, because a lot of people say, if I was your neighbour, I'd damage it. Well, I live in a nice area and I get along with my neighbours. Uh, a lot of people mention noise, so I carried out some noise tests with a proper decibel meter. So if you want to see those results, I put them over across the screen. But essentially, it's not noisy. If you've heard the noise before, probably because it's not been fitted properly and if it could be even an air to air system because they are slightly noisy but effectively it's not noisy i've asked my neighbor if you can't hear it when it's heating hot water to 60 degrees at 5 a.m with his windows open he isn't going to hear it any other time of the year i've asked him but i've checked with the closest neighbor to the nurse's habitable window and they said basically they can't hear it, it just it says unless he sticks his head out the window he, and he listens for it he can just about hear a very light humming noise. At night, I've walked past it when I'm walking the dog when it's running, I don't hear it. The only time I fractionally hear it, again, like I said, is when it's running at 60C, a hot water temperature heating, which is basically every now and again. It doesn't often do the whole 60C because mainly I heat the water to 50, and at 50C, it's not making that much of a noise. It's really only at 60, and even then, the screenshot results I've posted of the decibel meter they are running it at 60C. That's the noisiest setting it ever got. And that was one meter away from the machine, from the noisiest part of the machine, which is where the compressor is down here at the bottom. So we measured one meter across at a 45 degree angle, which is basically the noisiest part it's been. Now, Octopus did do something else to this heat pump. 
they have now put a new foam insulation on the front cover of the Cozy 6 to see if that made any noise difference. And we saw about a one to two decibel drop on the decibel meter when we did that. So again, it's not something that they think that they're concerned about. It passed the lab test with this, but they're even trying, even now, just to see if they can make that Cozy long-term quieter and more efficient. So it's not gonna get vandalized in this area. We've already established that. Neighbors are nice, kids are nice, and there's a couple of CCTV cameras around here anyway. But let's look at this run. It's a long run. I know that. 17 metres that way, 17 metres back. Giving me a total run of 34 metres. 34 metres of, of copper that knit. Well, not really, because not, not all of it's accessible. Maybe about 20 metres of that's accessible. And of today, of recording this video, copper is at a scrap value of £5.80 a kilo weighing in that's that 20 meters that you could nick it would give you 56 pound for quite a lot of effort and i don't know if you know much about criminals but they tend not to go to tremendous amounts of effort to nick things they're mo much easier to go and you know nick several reams of cable you know several reams of uh, copper from uh, from the power network or the railway network which is very easy to access lots and lots of it and lots of weight and then a lot more than 56 quid coming on a busy residential street trying to take all the trunking off trying to take all the all the plastic off it and then cutting off a pressurized system getting possibly covered in hot burning scalding water because it might be running a 60 degree uh, temperature for the hot water sensor it just seems a lot of effort so let's talk about maybe nicking this this might be a bit easier to nick because you could effectively turn off the heat pump at the back and then eventually get the front cover off unbolt it from the ground because it's bolted into this base it's not just loose it's bolted in so but you finally got all that off and you've nicked this heat pump so what are you going to scrap it for well internally it's probably got less copper than the entire pipe run in fact i know it's got less copper than the entire pipe run it's probably worth we'll call it 40 quid just to round it up it's probably got 40 quid maximum of metal inside there so you got 40 quid for that 56 quid for that and you've gone to quite a lot of effort so far but let's just say you didn't nick the copper you just nick this you got 40 quid for that what are you going to get for the rest of this well first of all the casing's plastic so nothing for that and the internals of this is a fridge it's basically a fridge it's a propane fridge inside and if you've ever left a fridge outside on your housing estate with a sign saying take for free you'll notice nobody will take it for free even the scrap man won't have it so why would a thief take it if the scrap man won't take it for free and they're not even breaking the law when you've got a sign take for free so let's ignore that part let's talk about the resellability of a cozy six so you've nicked it and you're going to resell the heat pump to somebody else well it's a very unusual looking heat pump. Everyone tells me how ugly it is, so it's going to be very hard to resell. And normally you nick things that are easy to resell. Now this will only work with the octopus control system and it's serial numbered to work with that control system. So if you did nick it, it's unusable without my control system and octopus activating it on a new control system. So you've effectively nicked something you can't sell to anybody and then you've effectively nicked 40 pound worth of scrap. Now, if you don't want a cozy six heat pump at the end of your street, then don't get one but it, it's my choice this is my location my choice now if you do want one and you don't want it here or maybe you want it in a similar location to me then go down below there's a link to split 200 pound with me when you order an octopus heat pump and if you enjoyed this video maybe check out the video that caused all these comments